Catulli Carmen Septimum Decimum. O oh, colonia, quai cupis, ponte illudere longo, et salir apparato abes, sed vereris inepta crura ponticuli axuli stantis in rediuivis. Ne supinus eiat, cauacuin paludere cumbat, Sic tibi bonus ex tua pons libidine fiat, in quo vel sali sub sali sacra suscipiantur. Monus hoc mihi maximi da colonia risus. Quenda munici pe meum de tuo volo ponte ire praecipit in lutum per caputque pedesque. Verum totius ut lacus putidaeque paludis, liuidissima maximeques profunda vorago. Insulsissimus est homo, nec sapit pueriens tarbimuli tremula patris dormientis in ulna, cui consit veridissimo nupta flore puella, et puella tenellulo delicati or haido, ad servanda di gerimus diligentius uis. Luder hanc sinit ut lubet, nec pili facit uni, nec se sublevat ex sua parte, sed velut alnus in fossa liguri jacet supernata securi. Tantum domnia sentiens, quam sin nulla sit usquam. Talis Iste meus stupor, nil vitet, nihil audit, ipse qui sit, utron sit, anon sit, id quoque nescit. Nunc eium volo de tuo ponte emitere pronum, si pote stoli d'un repente excitare o eternum. Et supinu anim in graui de relinquere e caino, fere ut soleiam, tenacin voragine mula. O colonia, you who desire to play on a long bridge and have it ready to jump upon, but fear the wobbly legs of the little bridge standing on second-hand sticks, lest it fall flat and sink down in the deep swamp. Thus may there be for you a good bridge according to your desire, upon which even the lively rites of Salis sub Salis may be held. Give to me, Colonia, this gift of the greatest laughter. I wish a certain countryman of mine to go headlong from your bridge into the mud from head to foot. Indeed, where of the entire lake and stinking swamp, the abyss is darkest blue and especially deep. The man's a complete idiot doesn't understand as much as a two-year-old sleeping in the trembling arm of his father. Though he has, as a bride, a young woman in the freshest bloom of youth, a girl friskier than a tender little young goat, to be guarded more diligently than the blackest of grapes. He allows her to play as she pleases, doesn't care a single hair, nor does he rouse himself on his own behalf. But like an alder in a ditch, hamstrung by a Ligurian axe, he lies there, sensing everything as if there were no woman there at all. 
Thus, my stupid fellow sees nothing, hears nothing. Who he is, whether he is or not, even that he doesn't know. Now I want to hurl him head first from your bridge. If it is possible, all at once to awaken his foolish lethargy and leave his supine spirit behind in the heavy mud as a mule her iron shoe in a tenacious whirlpool.